Well, while we had Dr. Alex Allison with us, I thought we would talk on other subjects. And uh, you, we're all going to groan when we hear log fume, flumes. But yep. uh, seriously, this is now going on and on. Yep. I know you, Mr. Morehouse particularly, is very keen to ask that Absolutely. question. Um, you, you, again, inherited this one. Yep. But you know, it's, it's a mess, right? It's, it's an embarrassment. I, I completely agree. Right. The, the main pool's reopened, the main pool's really busy, but the leisure pool side of things, so the flumes, it wasn't just the fl flumes, the whole no. leisure pool there, the lazy river, there's lots of new equipment there, has been left idle. And, and I, I'm really sorry about, about that, I apologise for that. There's been some technical problems, then you've had the COVID on top of it, the whole lot. We are trying to sort it out as soon as possible. I will be making a statement in, in October, Tim Wald, about it, the whole thing and I will be briefing members about it. Right. Well, I mean, we're in August, so we've missed another summer holiday, yeah, right? exactly, and, and, and that's unacceptable. There are some technical issues there. I want to try to get the leisure pool open for, for the first step, um, which takes some engineering um, to be done from, from specialists across, and then we need to get the flumes completed and functioning. Um, but I, or, yeah, it, 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 it's not good. Um, it, we will get there, but again, uh, Mr. Morehouse keeps on asking me when, and I, 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 as yet, I cannot give him a definite answer. Well, I suppose he's keeping your, uh, you know, the, 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 the subject matter in, yeah. in the public domain, right? Uh, no, absolutely. And I, 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 I was there last week, walking around and, and having a look at the, 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 the place, and it, and it needs to be sorted. This London court, though, is, and I know we will be careful there for what we say, but is, is it likely to be a, a, an issue of who blame, you know, what's we're, gone wrong? We're, we're trying to get away from that because what right. we need to do is sort the issue out. Um, no doubt the Public Accounts Committee will have me in um, for a whole inquiry about it in the, in, the, in the future. What we need to do is sort it out, get a, the All Island facility, the, the NSC, is back up and running um, completely. How was it after the lockdown? Because I mean, parts of it were obviously taken out of use yep. to, to store stuff and everything. Has everything returned to normal besides that part of it? It, it has. During the, the health emergency, one of the big um, uh, halls was used for PPE, for, for all the masks, um, yeah, the rumour was it was going to be the big sort like of that. Nightingale Hospital, wasn't it? There, there, there were plans that I'd, I'd right at the start to do that if yeah. we needed to. One of the issues there was transporting people backwards and forwards. That's why um, the War 20 was, was converted at the hospital, so it was in the same site rather than staff and patients mm -hmm. going backwards and forwards all the time. But the, right at the start of this, if you, if you cast your mind back in, into March, we, we had horrendous projections. We didn't realise how well the Isle of Man people could, could club together, could work together to suppress this virus. At that point, if you'd been saying we're virus free, we've got all the pubs and clubs yeah. open, mm -hmm. we've got the cinema open and we're putting on calendar girls next week, I'd, 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 have, I'd have laughed at you. We've done that as, yeah. as a nation. Um, but but it, there were serious times. Everything is back to normal at the NSC now. Um, the pool, all the gymnasium, all the rest of the equipment is, is up and running. Um, we had the first international football game with Guernsey coming over and playing at the bowl, um, which was a fantastic event. Well, you remind me now of things like the theatre, which also come under, under you sort yep. of thing. I mean, what's the plan? Do you think there'll be a panther this year? Do you think all those people come over, yep. acts appearing? And yep. uh, is, is that likely to... I mean, I know they're booking for yep. next year, but yep. could we have our own little bubble that people could appear? We, we, we could do, but, but and what we've been trying to do is generate that homegrown talent mm. and get that on. So, for instance, at the weekends, we had the, the mass bands playing. Again, nobody else has been doing that. We've got a theatre production, Calendar Girls, coming on, which mm. is you know almost sold out, really successful. We've got cinema running. And without social distancing, really successful. But of course, we haven't had any, any new movies released no. because Hollywood are all keeping them in the, in, in, in the cupboard at the moment. We still have problems getting acts to come over to us because of our border control. You know, I, 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 I can't justify getting acts to come over, and they would come. They would love to play See, in I, front of a live audience. I, I put it but, but, but at the same Astrid, yeah. at the same time, if you can't bring your aunt or your grandmother over to the Isle of Man, okay. is it right that you can bring over um, some some celebrities? To well, I'm just thinking if they're standing on stage and they yep. all the special, yeah. you know, it's no but, different from being I mean, no, true. True, but but again, the, the safety of people on the Isle of Man has to be our paramount yeah. um, concern. Um, as soon as it's safe to bring acts across, they would love to perform here. We, we've we've had inquiries from people who can't perform anywhere in, in the UK or Europe, who'd be desperate to get up on a stage here. Do you think, I mean, we're going slightly off tangent, but do you think you should be running a cinema, you know, the government and all that? I yeah. know it made a good profit, because years yep. ago it made like one pound or yep. something, and I thought, well, that's interesting. Now it's, it seems to be soaring away, it was, before yep. the uh, shutdown. Yeah. I mean, they, they, that's a very good question. Uh, should government be running um, 
facilities, leisure facilities on the Isle of Man. Not necessarily, but they tried to, to put it out to tender in the past. Yeah. They didn't get any 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 any. Well, there is competition because the Palace Group, and Absolutely. then technically there's going to be a, a multiplex on Lord Street. Would yep. you then see a point in the future that? You don't need to provide absolutely, but the, again, the facilities at the, the Villa Gaiety are used for a whole range of things. The, the cinema there, for instance, is used for conferences, mm -hmm. is used for presentations. Um, it is a, an island facility, and we can do things there that, that other people can't do. For instance, for, with charity functions, with some of the um, careers fairs that go on there, it is a fantastic facility for the, for the whole island. And I think it, if if we didn't provide that, would a private company do so? I doubt it. Right. You you got a massive portfolio. Things of interest, other things. I mean, I know the schools coming along down the coastal Russian. Yeah, I mean, we've got a big infrastructure um, pro program going on at the moment in terms of in improvements on our existing schools. The first thing people will see is a new science block at QE2 in Peel. Mm. They need more space. Um, one of the the emphasis we've got at the moment in terms of economic regeneration is looking at science technologies getting people with the right skills, with the right interests, particularly women going into science. So the science block at QE2, we hopefully we'll have a presentation later on in the year for the local people, will be a major asset for that school, which, which is increasing both in capacity and also esteem. We've also got Castle Russian High School. I was down there this week. This is the playing fields part, isn't it? The yep. Sport. So the, um, Tim Wald agreed with the playing fields going ahead. That's important because it's the first part of a scheme because the new school will be built on the existing playing field. So if we can get new playing fields up and running, right. we can then dovetail that in, keep the existing school working while the new school is built to replace it. The school at the moment, the roof leaks. When it rains heavily, there's buckets on the floor. It's that bad. Yeah. But also, you've got to look at the development in the south of the island. We've got over 600 new houses planned there. With the airport gateway development, there'll be a lot more businesses going in there. And one of the things people want if they're going to relocate to a different part of the island or if they're going to come from across is decent education. You look at the standard of living, the housing, then if I've got kids, where do they go to school? Mm -hmm. So that's why the Castle Russian development is so important. Will your budgets be scrutinised even further because of obviously Absolutely. the way things have gone? Absolutely. Are likely I, I, to be pushed back then, do you think? Or do we need that work to put money in the we economy? Need, we, we need that work to be put into the economy. We also need that work because it's needed. Mm. Um, the Castle Russian High School should have been done years ago. What we need is a landmark building there, which not only raises the, the reputation of Castle Town and the south of the island, but also re raises the reputation of the entire education service of the Isle of Man. We have a fantastic service here. We have great young people, fantastic teachers. We need to actually celebrate that far more. Quite a heavy workload. Are you enjoying the job and all that? Stuff? Absolutely. And the, the future, do you think we're okay? I mean, um, what happens if, if we do have another yep. case and that? So, what, have you got things in place? The schools would have to yep. do whatever? At, at the moment, we're, as a department, we're working very closely with government, with public health, getting an, an entire contingency plan set up. Plan B, as it's called in the United Kingdom. Yeah. We've got that. But seven what days we, will come in. But it? what we need to do is make sure we consult with all the teachers about that, yeah. make sure that everyone buys into that, so that when we get an outbreak, and, and we, it's going to happen sooner or later, we know exactly what to do. It's not going back to the way it was in March. We now have on island testing. We need, now have track and trace. We can deal with it in a much more mature and nuanced way and keep people safe. Are you a fan of the seven day? moving to from 14 to 7 days? I think if, if the science backs it, if we've got the, the proper tracing and tracking system here, yes, because we need to make it as easy as possible to maintain normality on our island.